I mean, when I was young, I tried to play football wherever I can. Um, even at home, when I had to do my homework, I had the ball at my feet. Um, my mom was not, ha not happy about <laughs> it, but I loved it. Um, all uh, Every time in my time off, I, I went out with friends and played football. I played in the garden. Um, I tried to go and score some free kick goals um, on the pitch where, where I trained it. And yeah, so football football was everything to me. And I see it also with my kids now, like this, with the older one, he's, he wants to play football every time. He asks me so many questions about it. and. Yeah, seen it, seen it a little bit already in him. That's lovely. There's a there's a genuine interest there, and you, I suppose you, you'd love them to go on and, and be footballers maybe, but also go and be happy in whatever they do. But if they're already interested, yeah, I winner. mean, <laughs> I I never push them to do anything, yeah. but it's just with uh, with my profession that uh, that I play football all the time, and it's there's so many games, so yeah, he grows into it uh, automatically. Um, if he wants to play football, or uh, both of them, um, they're happy. They're happy to do it, but uh, I don't push them to do anything no, as long as they're happy. That's the main thing. Definitely. Um, someone else that, uh, when I was reading upon you, that seemed to have quite an important influence in those early years was your older sisters playing football as well. Um, so did you play for the same team? Am I right in thinking that? Or Yeah, so I got two older sisters. The, old, sisters, the yeah. oldest one didn't play football. Um, just the, the one that's two years old. I got two older sisters and the one that's two years older than me. She she played football as well, um, but she had to stop because of uh, injuries that she had. Um, we played for the same club, but never really on the same team like we had a couple um indoor tournaments that we that we played together mm -hmm. um but yeah not not really on the same team um but we just played together at home um with our father uh that was it yeah oh, that's lovely and she must be obviously really pleased with how how things are going if you both started on the same route and then you've been able to sort of carry on just have to stop yeah it, so. definitely she was just here the last week for the for the derby oh, uh, uh, with, the, with the boyfriend that were here so yeah i'm always really happy when family's around my father was here as well so i always try to stay in touch with them because family is really important to me yeah we're right thinking you played further forward as well in those early years i mean given your goal <laughs> against copenhagen the other night it makes sense but <laughs> yeah i think i think everybody did when he was younger played uh, play <laughs> a front somewhere to be think, a striker yeah, yeah, yeah no one no one really was a, like a defender wanted to be one but um, yeah, at one point, I think it was around 17 or so, 16, 17, um, the, no, it was 16, the other kids were, were taller than me, were, were faster than me, and then I, I turned, I got from a winger I got to, a, to a fullback, and from a fullback then to a centre-back when I got bigger again, and yeah. Now I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's, it's obviously worked now out. I don't, now it? I don't have a real position. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, good point, actually. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that because one of the main assets you seem to have is you, you're such an intelligent footballer, as we've said, and you've played at fullback, you've played centre back, you've played defensive midfield. Um, has that emphasis kind of grown a lot since you've come to City, or was it something that you, you were aware that you had in your locker anyway when you were at Dortmund and Basel and so on? I mean, I was a, I, when I came here, I was a, was a centre back and I played fullback a couple of times and I knew I could do it, but it's not like, it wasn't like my best position. Like if, if they just needed someone to to, uh, to play on this position, I will play there. But here it's also differently. Like the way I play fullback is not the way you play fullback at another right. position. Sometimes you're more of a like a third center back or then um, in some in some games I go up and play in, in the midfield. So it's um, a lot of things that, uh, that they come with this position and it's never really the same in, in, in all these games. So. I'm just trying to learn what all the, what the other players are doing in other training, and I think that's that's why it's not that hard for me because yeah, I'm I'm trying to learn of other players as well or try to think of how they play in this position, and even for me, if I play there, then I better know what passes I can play maybe up mm -hmm. front into midfield. If I w if I would be there, what would be good for me? And how can I help the, uh, the the players around? Yeah, it's a really good point. Do you, do you enjoy that adaptability as well? Sort yeah. of every week's different and yeah, uh, um, really. Yeah. I think I never play three games in the same position maximum two but no, normally I change like every game but it, it's it's all right in the beginning it was a little bit difficult sometimes mm -hmm. because you need like the confidence especially I would say in midfield it was a little bit more difficult for me because I never really played that before and it's different when you suddenly have like opponents behind your back yeah. when you yeah. normally have the, the game in front of yours so I had to get used to it and uh, I got confident in more games I, I played there but um on the defender's position it doesn't it doesn't really matter to me anymore if i play yeah right left or in the middle as long as you're playing that's yeah thing, i'm, I'm happy if i'm on the pitch and if i can help the team definitely we were actually talking before and paul did you describe us the the bargain of bargain yeah of the i just uh, talk about obviously we'll talk about dortmund in your time there but when you signed for manchester city it seemed nobody knew about it it seemed to happen so quickly did you did you know about it previously or did it or was it quick decision for you no it was and really a quick decision <laughs> I think, yeah and i think everybody's thinks they got the fee wrong because 
the fee that they've paid for you and the ability and how good you've been at Manchester City, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a different level. Mm. Different level. Yeah, I mean, it happened really quickly. It was towards the end of the transfer mm. window. It was like four days before that. I f first time, first uh, first time I heard from uh, from City. So uh, yeah, I was with my agent right away. I would I would really love to do it. And then in like two days, I I was here and signed the contract, did the the medical check and stuff like this. So yeah, it happened really quickly, and uh, I was really happy to be here. I suppose that's the nature of football, isn't it? Things can change so quickly, and you've mm. you've got to adapt to it and and get ready. Um, Definitely. What what are the main differences you felt between like life in Dortmund and life at City? Obviously, I know the different teams, different styles and everything, but what's been the real things that maybe in those first few months you thought, oh, wow, I wasn't expecting that? I mean, the the Premier League is definitely more physical than the, than the Bundesliga. And I think there's also more or better individual players or like more of the better individual players than are in the Bundesliga. Yeah. Like it's more in the Bundesliga. I would say there's a lot of good teams as well. They play good together, but here I I, I feel like it doesn't matter if you play against the, the third in the table or the, against the 16th. All of them have like really good individual it's players. So and, competitive, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and you can really feel it as a defender. Like you always got to be ready. If you switch off for a second, mm -hmm. you, you might get dribbled past from from someone. And um, yeah, I think that that was the was the biggest difference to me that like a lot of good individual players and uh, physically as well. Yeah. Do you think it brings the best out of you though as a player having that challenge every week and, and the physical nature of it as well? Yeah, definitely. And also uh, with City, the club itself, not just in the in the Premier League, also um, in the Champions League that you normally go like to the to the to the to the further rounds. Like now we're in the quarterfinals, you play against the best teams in Europe, not just in England, just uh, the best teams in Europe. And then I think that's where you where you're the best at or where you can learn the most. It seems seems a very together changing room and a very easy changing room to come into how did you find that yeah it was it was really easy to get uh, to get here to get adapted as well um i think it helped me as well on the pitch because i came here and i played right away from the beginning mm -hmm. and this can't just happen if, if the if the if the changing room is not good and the, the last year helped me a lot to to settle in and i feel uh, i feel really comfortable here i like it definitely i had a I was speaking to opta earlier today to sort of talk about how your stats and so on and they showed some heat maps and you're playing a lot further forward according to, to these heat maps. I know football can't be broken down to like numbers all the time, but you, you seem to be sort of further forward and influencing games and, and maybe being more confident as well. Like you say, do you feel that difference this season compared to last season? I didn't. I didn't know about yeah. it. But um, I mean, I'm. I'm. Li I like to play offensive. I like to play up front. Um, I mean, yeah. In the end. We defend us and we defend a lot, but we, when you play for, for Man City, normally you're a lot in possession and uh, Pep as well, he demands a lot from us, uh, from us defenses in the build-up play and stuff like this. So I try to play up front and if I see the gap, um, I like to dribble as well with the ball and go for it if, if I see an opening. And uh, that's also what the manager wants from me. So uh, if, I, if I see the opening, I'm trying to go for it and I try to play the pass if it's, if it's possible. Mm -hmm.